You were both in Skull and Bones, the secret society. It's so secret we can't talk about it. What does that mean for America? The conspiracy theorists are going to go wild. I'm sure they are. I don't know. I haven't seen the website. Number 322. Take a loose. Thomas Both are members of Skull and Bones, a secret society at Yale. What does that tell us? Uh, not much, because it's a secret. <laughs> Is there a secret handshake? Is there a secret code? I wish there were something secret I could manifest. 322, a secret number? Uh, there are all kinds of secrets, Tim, but one thing is not a secret. I disagree with this president's direction. I spoke with about 100 members of Skull and Bones, and uh, they were members who were tired of the secrecy, and that's why they were willing to talk to me. But probably twice that number hung up on me, harassed me, Skull or threatened. Skull and Bones is so tiny, that's what makes this staggering. There are, there are only 15 people a year, which means there are about 800 living members at any one time. We know that a lot of bonesmen have gone on to positions of great power. That's what Skull and Bones purpose is, to get as many members as possible into positions of power. Though there is this mythology about Skull and Bones running, pulling the strings of government. You're saying the fact is Skull and Bones are pulling the strings of government. They do have many individuals in influential positions and that's why this is something that we Next to it, I had passed it all the time and during the initiation rites you could hear strange cries and whispers coming from the Skull and Bones tomb. Despite a lifetime of attempts to get inside, the best Rosenbaum could do was hide out on the ledge of a nearby building a few years ago to videotape a nocturnal initiation ceremony in the tomb's courtyard. A woman holds a knife and, and uh, pretends to slash the throat of another person lying down before him. And we screaming. shot some of the only existing footage of a Skull and Bones initiation ceremony held at this foreboding building called the Tomb. One legend has it that during these initiation ceremonies, pledges must climb naked into a coffin. Did you have to climb naked into a coffin for your initiation back in 1960? <laughs> Last time I was naked was sprinting down the street somewhere. No, I <laughs> The first activity the new members uh, launch into in their senior year at Yale is called the sexual history, where they must stand in a cozy, dimly lit room in front of the other 14 seniors in the society and recount their entire sexual history. That's something that Carrie and Bush would have